Hey guys, welcome back. Don't worry, don't worry guys. We're going to get back onto the Blake's Breaks thing tomorrow. We got lots to cover. We got lots more to get into, lots to dig into. But first, today, we are going to look at one of the dumbest of dumb whatnot streamers. And before we do that, I want to share some of my thoughts and feelings on early product. You guys know that I don't like it. It's not good. And no, it's not a jealousy thing. I know some wiener baby is currently typing that in the comments. I want you guys to hear me out before you rage down there. Now, see on screen here, we have a recent video. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you do so. It is, uh, what, from what people are telling me, a partial owner or somebody that has a stake in a game store uh, who decided they were going to open the pre-release product before the pre-release events happened. Which is that? That's kind of a no-no. That's that. That leaves a little bit of a sore spot on my butthole, because I let let the people play the pre-releases. If there's leftover product uh, and you'd like to open it yourself as a store, whatever, go to town, do what you got to do. Uh, just man, the, why, why, why are you gonna, why are you gonna do that? I have uh, numerous complaints that I've received uh, about Pat Champ about that store. Uh, specifically, I have people telling me that uh, they cancel certain events uh, and just keep the product, whether or not you know it's entirely true or whether or not that's uh, exactly what happened. Uh, maybe they didn't have enough people to like want to run the event. Regardless, if you if you create an event, no matter, I don't even care if there's two people that just want to play against each other. Just make sure that the people that want to play in the event that you advertise that you got the product for have the ability to do so. Please, for the love of God. I'm not. I'm not usually one that's going to be like, "Oh my God, don't, what are you doing buying all the all the ETBs at Walmart from a set that's not even playable anymore?" Think of the players. No, the, well, in this instance, yes, think of the players. Um, that's what the, the events are designed for. That's what you're getting the product for. Uh, not so you can open it and make a post on Twitter thinking that you're king shit that you opened a few Charizards. That's not what it's here for. So, guys, early and or stolen product is bad for pretty much everyone. People who steal from the print facility, uh, from shipping, uh, stealing from the, the shipping companies that are shipping that product, from the storage facilities, from the distribution, from destruction facilities even, they're all risking their job, uh, a criminal record, and lawsuits. I, I know, it's weird. If you haven't watched the channel, maybe you don't realize that. Uh, and yes, buying from any of those sources gives them extra motivation to do it. If you're CGC and you're grading that stuff and it retains value because it's got inadvertent early release, which might as well be jail bars on the slab itself. Uh, yes, you're pro you're providing extra incentive for someone to ruin their life. And no, I, I feel for these people because they're not making very much money in any of these professions that are involved in in handling this stuff. Uh, and clearly uh, not very intelligent if, if they're going to steal from work. But when you're giving them the extra little bounty, Oh, we love the word bounty recently. When you're giving them extra motivation, extra dollar bills in order to do something like that, to steal from work, and that's what it is. It's stealing from work. Whether you want to call it, whether it's cardboard, whether it's anything else, it's stealing from work. You will get yourself in an, a, a lot of trouble. You end up buying it. You're the person that buys it. Great. Uh, you're going to have a private investigator is going to show up and confiscate the cards. If it's, uh, if it's on the magic end of things, it's going to be the Pinkertons and you can fucking cry about it. I don't feel anything for you. You're buying stolen stuff. If you know anything about any any part of it, you know it's stolen. You know you're not supposed to have it at this point in time. And I don't feel for you when they come and take it from you. That's It's going to happen. It happens time and time again. If you don't know that, you pay attention, please, for the love of God. So, not to mention that, if you do buy it, I am going to make a video and I am going to rightfully drag you for it. Because you're ruining... You're making yourself look stupid, and you're also potentially ruining other people's lives, and encouraging them to steal from work. Yes, th there's probably going to be people that do it anyway, whether it's worth money or not. But when they can get hundreds or thousands of dollars for early product, uh, th th there's a good chance they're going to do it. They're dumb. They're desperate, and they're going to do it. Don't let don't don't provide don't give them an extra reason to do it. That's what I'm saying here. That's what I'm asking. Please, for the love of God, whether you're a content creator, whether your dream is to be a, a poke rev and you want to open stuff early because no one else has it and you're going to get some attention for it, it's not a good idea. We've seen it time and time again. Bad idea. Don't do it. So 
the Pokemon Company. No, of course, they don't want stuff leaked uh, and the ex excitement, I guess, drained for a set before release. Uh, the Pokemon Company uh, especially doesn't want something spoiled in English before it comes out in Japanese. You know damn well that uh, the Pokemon Company International would get spanked extra hard by the Pokemon Company for that. There's, there's absolutely no way. So we got, we'll, we'll, we'll scroll through here. We'll change the background up every now and then. Uh, we got the the Twitter posts. If you aren't following me on Twitter, please do so. Post the videos on there. Uh, a a day after they go up on YouTube, if you wanna if you wanna watch them. In that method, I just figure a nice little maybe reach out and see some see some extra people that aren't necessarily watching the YouTube videos. Good little good little bonus for them. Now. I, I know, I know exactly. We're gonna someone, someone's, someone's saying rattle. How do you know that? Maybe the spoilers are intentional. The Pokemon company is probably doing it on purpose. And uh, if they were intentional, you wouldn't see the responsible parties, whether it's the print facility or whoever, is responsible for stuff getting out for their employees doing naughty no nos. Uh, you wouldn't see them hiring private investigators, spending money to retrieve the stolen goods. You wouldn't see the Pokemon company suing people um, l like they did with uh, the leaked pictures of the Sword and Shield guidebooks. It happened. I know. I know. It's, it's, it's wild. No, it was not staged. It happened. It happens every time when stuff is stolen. And, and yes, we're still going with the if it's over a month before release. It's very stolen. Extra danger. Do not touch. All right. So... While we're on the uh, on the topic here, let's talk pre-release kits and supplies. So, a game store. Let's say you're a sketchy game store. Uh, you want to cash in and sell or open the product that was supposed to be for the pre-release events. They risk being able to run those events in the future, so they're they're hurting themselves. Uh, potentially, make it more difficult for others who run these events uh, in a, what we would call an ethical way. Uh, maybe those stores. Uh, playing by the rules, get less product for that reason. M people who want to play in events can't because uh, they can't run them anymore. The store can't run them anymore or the stores are limited uh, or the product, you know, the, maybe the product was used for a, a bonus, a bonus payday. And we've seen a lot of that recently, uh, similar to the staff promos, you know, the ones where people like to say that they're cool and, and you know, they, they weren't stolen. They did get released. Some of them got released, but we're going to ignore the ones that weren't released. Those ones don't, though. Those are still cool. We're just not, not going to mention the fact that, uh, that a lot of these were obtained in sketchy ways. A lot of them, even after the stores received them, were distributed in ways that they were not supposed to be. They're supposed to be given out to event staff. I know it blows everyone's mind that it says staff on it and it's supposed to go to event staff or they're supposed to be destroyed. That's how they work. Or they're given out at, at, at additional events. If you don't have, uh, if you don't, if they're not for that, addition, that specific event or if they're extras on that event, they had to be given out to, in, in a similar way. Pokemon's rules, not mine. Suck it. All right, so I guess in essence, mostly breaking the rules is going to hurt people who follow the rules. So stores or distributors who are breaking street date, uh, who are they hurting? Guess what? They're hurting all the stores that are following the rules. Same with the uh, loosey-goosey big box stores who don't don't seemingly have to uh, follow any rules. They can just put it on the shelf whenever. Uh, and I, I don't know if they've ever been like reprimanded or like slapped on slapped on the wrist for it in any way. But regardless, it hurts the small stores who are uh, they're going to get dicked by if if they break street date, they're in trouble. They're going to lose their distributor. They're going to lose their business. And how is that fair? Same with these like backdoor shenanigans that we got going on. These whatnot fuckers who are breaking street date. Uh, and yes, they're more of an issue than surface level opening early. Shops have to sit around and wait for the release. They're all competing over price. They got to compete with each other. While well, Gballer 69s sell early product at a huge premium. Um, on, on stuff that was obtained by shady means. And you can be certain that I'll have more coverage on this in the future. What's going on with the whatnot? What's going on with the early product? Because I think it's in everyone's best interest. If you if you truly appreciate the hobby and uh, the community, and no, I'm not saying hobby and community with a G-baller accent, because that's what it's usually used as. It's tainted. 
Uh, if you care about any of this stuff, the health of everything that's going on, the game stores especially, I feel for the game stores, not the ones that are being shady, not the ones that are that are canceling events and, and selling stuff off at a premium, not the ones that are selling their staff promos and then telling me, oh, don't worry, I compensated the people that are supposed to receive them, so now I can sell them on eBay at a huge premium. Not those people. The honest game stores, they're the ones that you should be looking to. And that's why I say, if you guys stop buying stuff from Walmart, stop buying stuff from Target, if you can order it in advance, you're going to save money, buy it from a, a, a nice reputable game store. Don't search the World Wide web for the dark web to the, to the game store that's just popped up in, in 2021, um, and, and barely has a website and doesn't ship anything. Be careful with that stuff. Don't, don't get caught trying to chase the lowest of the low price. Don't buy the stuff from the Walmart shelf at a huge premium. You can get more cards, even if you get more packs, even if you want you want to spend that entire amount that you're spending at Walmart. Go to your PSAPikachu.com if you're in the U.S. Go to your dozecards.ca uh, and use code RATTLE5 if you're in Canada, that sort of thing. Or if you have a favorite shop that you want to support, if you have one that's maybe local, um, it's, it's tough at times. Sometimes they got to put a, a, a premium on stuff if they're a local game store. Um, and yes, there are going to be at certain times where it, you're going to get a sweet deal from a Walmart. If all of a sudden they restock uh, an evolving skies ETV, uh, on release, no, it wouldn't have been a good deal. It would be more expensive than the game stores, but now where it's like weird, odd product that ends up showing up. Yes, there are exceptions. I will give you guys that. So now that you guys suffered through my entire rant, I think that's most of it. Regardless, again, everyone involved, it's, it's, it's a negative thing all around people breaking street date. That's, that's what it comes down to. It's bad. It's, it's, uh, it's all around bad. So we have a post here by Bismack on the Reddit. Uh, we have Whatnot Breaker Extra claims he doesn't know. Uh, where he got his Obsidian Flames three weeks before release, then says he's a tournament player. So you'll notice here that any of these people that are that are breaking this stuff, that uh, that are doing this stuff, that are getting the stuff early, that are shady dogging sixty nine, um, they they can't they can't pronounce the Pokemon names. I, I mean that's kind of to be expected. And I don't want to gatekeep here and be like, oh, you're what you call it a Ray Rayquaza instead of Rayquaza, you you flipping noob. But when you can't when you're going through the packs and you can't pronounce uh, half of the names even, uh, and you call yourself a tournament player, like it, it, tell me you're tell me you're not actually playing without tell me you're not actually playing. So we're gonna watch this clip because I think it's hilarious. Uh, I think this is the perfect example of a uh, someone who looks like they're both ten years old and. Uh, 40 years old, and uh, th this is the kind of thing that you should be expecting when you're on the old, the old, uh, the whatnots. This is this is whatnot in a nutshell. We are gonna keep diving into the whatnot stuff. I know that every every video recently has been whatnot themed, uh, but we just gotta completely turn it turn it upside down. Uh, I feel for the people that are honest that are selling on whatnot. Um, no, I'm not blaming you, but there is there's corruption from from top to bottom. Uh, and yes, maybe there's some 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 good peeps that got uh, tied up within that, uh, but for the the vast majority of it is uh, is is bad. Stay the hell away from it. The carnival games that are probably not even legal. Uh, carnival games are. I mean, there, there's probably some technical terms for it. If anyone has uh, some expertise uh, in uh, United States and or Canada uh, gambling laws, please do let me know because to me this is. I feel like this is breaking a lot of them. I could be wrong though. Not a lawyer. TM. All right. So we're going to have to do a lot of dissecting and removing audio because you know it. He's playing G baller tunes in the background. So we're, we don't, we don't want to get, we don't want to get the video striked. Let's, uh, let's listen in. I'm going to be very quiet during it so that it's easier to edit. Mawile, Togadamaru, Grieve, Lechonk, Soul Rock, Dog Trio. Houndstone, Wooper, Steen, and Gita. This comes out in three weeks. Oh, I just kind of, I just kind of opened this and, and even. We got a Toga Kiss. We got a Toga Kiss out of this one. Damn.
That's black magic, bro. I'm a tournament player, bro. Okay, he's a he's a tournament player. That's where he got the packs. Um, I, I don't know if anyone has informed him that uh, that he's even if he's a tournament tournament player that he's not allowed to just bring everything home with him. That's not how it works. Not to mention the fact that at this point in time, uh, the there was no there was no tournaments. They did not take place yet. Those are going on this weekend. Those start this weekend. So anyone that was breaking the stuff beforehand, did he get it? Did he get it from a sketchy detchy supplier? Did he get it from a game store that should have been selling these as a pre-release event? And again, I have no problem if you, if the pre-release events they're filled up, they're over. Uh, you can you can even accept people that are coming in last minute. By all means, run the tournament. If there's leftovers after the tournament, if you want to offer it to the people that are that played in the tournament, I think that's the probably the right way to do it. Uh, offer them the extra stuff to be able to buy the stuff. I think that's uh, that's an all-around win. It rewards the people that showed up to your store. To play in the tournament now i don't know how many actual like fake game stores and fake events are being run uh that they're just going to fill in you have to fill in some some paperwork you have to say that a certain amount of players were there that were playing um so i don't know how many people are faking that in order to get the product early uh and then they go onto their whatnot stream and pronounce all the the names of the pokemon wrong with their sunglasses and their g baller g baller setups now, let's take a look here. We got Bismack on the Twitter as well, spreading the, the good word of these absolute wanker dankers uh, who are, uh, the, the, again, there's, you know, this is the thing. You know you need some kind of advantage. You know you're not entertaining. You know that you're not a good stream when you're completely relying on the kickstand and or crutch that is, uh, stolen product or early product or product obtained in very sketchy ways. I mean, a lot of the sketchy ways were, is 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 dangling in on the on the stolen lines because uh, they're breaking agreements with the Pokemon company. Whether you want to debate uh, if that is um, whether that's actually stolen or not, uh, by all means, go to town. Uh, they paid for it, but you know, it, if you're breaking agreements with how it's supposed to be obtained. It's not, I don't know. I, I think that's stolen in my book. All right. We have Bismack who says, why are breakers on whatnot allowed to break street date by three weeks? And I agree. They shouldn't be. I really hope the Pokemon company takes their large cock and shoves it up whatnot's ass uh, for breaking this, for ruining this uh, for a lot of people. Uh, again, so every every stage of this, you see bad actors that will, the, the people that are feeding the product into this are acting out of terms and conditions they're breaking the rules to feed the product into these people so they can sell it at a premium and once again all the people that are abiding by the rules even if they're whatnot streamer all the people that are abiding by the rules and only going to sell stuff on street date are getting absolutely jammed in the buns that's the problem here that's the problem no no you're not special because you got it early anyone can get it early if they try hard enough I could have a million stolen cards if I wanted them. I don't want them. I would rather make videos about people taking them and show people why it's a bad idea. I know I sound like a broken record for anyone that's been watching the channel for a long time, uh, but that's what it comes down to. All right, let's. Um, we're going to take another look here. Uh, this one's just the first clip once again. Uh, but then here, uh, LOL, five minutes later in the stream, he admits what we already knew and states he got it early from a supplier. Ooh, I wonder who that supplier could be. Wink. Thought you were a tournament player, though. Of course he isn't. He probably doesn't even know how to play the game. No, he definitely does. He, no chance he knows how to play the game. Not even a chance. This dude is a friggin' G-baller 69. And anyone that doesn't know how to play the game, there's nothing against you for it. It's a little bit daunting at first, but I suggest you just download the game. Play it online. Um, there used to be a pretty good tutorial uh, within the Pokemon Trading Card Game online. Now that it's Pokemon Trading Card Game live, maybe not so much. But watch some streams. Watch how it's played. Um, no, you're not going to be good at it. You're not going to know exactly what's going on in the beginning. But it, it's really, you'll get the hang of it. I suggest even even if you're a collector, even if you decide like, hey, I don't like the game, I shouldn't play it, I don't think I want to play it, I think it's still, there's some value added 
to, uh, to just trying out the game. It's free to do so. You probably already opened a lot of packs. You probably have a bunch of code sitting around. Um, try it out with whatever decks they give you in the beginning. Maybe build a deck. If you hate it, you hate it. Never play it again. You're done. But at least you kind of have a better appreciation or you know exactly how the cards work. Maybe, maybe, maybe you'll grow attached to it. And then it's cool because uh, even looking back uh, on like XY era and stuff like that, when I see cards that I used to play in a deck or I used to play against and I hated them because they used to like stomp me or I liked them because I used to play the deck and it was like I was kicking everyone's butt. There's like an extra memory that you can form there. And I, I don't know. I think, I, I think a lot of people are missing out on that aspect. A lot of people burn out. Uh, and that's a, maybe one of the best ways to not burn out on Pokemon cards or Pokemon collecting or anything like that is to diversify how you enjoy or how you interact with the hobby itself. And that's kind of why you see a lot of different videos or different streams and stuff that I do on the channel here because it keeps it fresh. You, you dabble a little bit all over the place. There's tons of Pokemon stuff. There's the video games. There's the card game. There's all kinds of stuff uh, to make it so that you're not just focused in hardcore on one aspect and you burn yourself out and you're tired of it and you're bored of it and you quit after a year. Because a lot of people uh, with Pokemon collecting, usually a year is when they burn out and they quit and they move on to other things. Maybe they come back later. Maybe they don't. But uh, from that, from my experience, that's what I've seen, uh, especially with like local local friends that were into it. All right. Last clip here. Again, I'm going to be quiet so that it's easier for me to edit out all the G-Baller tunes. Y'all gotta start, y'all gotta start getting in with like shops and shit like that, becoming their friends and shit, buying products from them, helping them out. They got extra product that they can't get rid of, take it from them, sell it for them, you know what I mean? When then, when it's time for you to come around, they'll help you out too. One hand washes the other. I want to know so bad how you get product. Stop being, be somebody that they can count on. Right, so if you couldn't guess what that was, it was Linkin Park. So it was a little less G-baller than usual. Um, I don't know if his outfit necessarily screams Linkin Park, but uh, that's what he was playing. So you heard him here. Um, uh, for some reason, he's uh, he's claiming that uh, they, they you gotta you get one hand washes the other. You gotta you gotta be nice to your supplier so that they be nice to you and give you early product that you're not supposed to have that you shouldn't be opening on your stream. Very cool. All right, we're going to have to find out where uh, our boy here, Extra, the G-Baller69, is getting his stuff from, I think. Uh, that's uh, That seems like the the source here. It's weird that he, if you're going to if you're gonna say that you're, it's like an honest method, why are you lying about it earlier? Why, why, are you claiming, why are you claiming that you're a tournament player? Is that just what you came up with on the fly? Again, you're an idiot. Uh, everyone that's uh, that's doing this stuff is an idiot. I, I feel bad for the, the honest people that are going to, get burned by all of this they keep getting burned by all of this but that's uh that's a, we got a little side quest on the channel here and that is to uh to stop people uh with oh, stop this early the early product thing uh if everyone kind of shuns it if everyone the same way we've seen with like the youtube channels that buy the stolen product uh and they you think they're going to keep making videos about it if everyone absolutely bashes them that's what it comes down to you just gotta you gotta bash the people that are wronging other people and eventually they're going to give it up. They're going to, and, and that's fine. If, if they like realize like, hey, this was a mistake. If they're a YouTuber uh, and they they bought stolen product and they just want to own up to the fact that like, hey, okay, I realized it was a bad idea. We shouldn't have done it. Uh, then that, that's a different story. I think everyone kind of deserves a, a second chance here. Maybe they don't realize exactly what they're doing. The same way if someone's stealing from the print facility, they don't realize that it's maybe as bad as what it is until they, they really get burned on it. They probably don't watch enough of the channel here. But that's what we have. That's what we're getting into. And uh, that's uh, that's a that, that's a little goal of the channel here, regardless of where it is or what part of the, the supply that it's it's getting out early. I think we need to put pressure on all of it uh, in order to prevent it and 
And again, it's in everyone's best interest. I know it's hard to see from the outer outer level. People like to just say like, oh, it's only cardboard and it's only early and you're jealous and whatever. But it's not. It's ruining a lot of stuff. It's hurting game stores. It's hurting honest game stores, which is the worst part. I think more than anyone, it's hurting honest game stores. Does it hurt the person on whatnot that's overpaying for it? Y- yeah, I mean, but they're voluntarily paying for it is going to be the argument. But most of all, hurting the honest seller, hurting the honest game store, um, is is the biggest thing here. And and I don't know, it's just it it just kind of ruins it for everyone. Make it a release thing. There's no reason that everyone everyone can't just sit and wait till release. I know it, it's it's free tendies for the people that are breaking the rules, but uh, I I say we uh, we bring it down, bring it down on them. How about that, guys? How about that? Thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord. Look out for each other out there, uh, whether it's your friends, your family, your game stores, whatever you got to do. Make sure that uh, that they're not getting burned by this stuff and absolutely keep it up. I love the pressure. I love the fact that people are posting now. I know there's a lot of people that um, they can't call out uh, certain, certain bad actors depending on whether they're in a position that... Uh, They can get burned on it, but uh, there's more of that to come. Don't worry. And uh, if you need a voice, I'm here to do it. I don't give a shit. I will absolutely bash G-Baller after G-Baller. I don't care if they're top G-Baller, top 10 G-Ballers of all time. I, I will. I'm here. I'm here to drag their stupid asses. See ya.